South Korea's marriage rate has just dropped 40% in the past 10 years, David, and we're here to talk about the actual reasons why that is. You know, there are the reasons that are like always covered in the news. Those are the ones the government people are always talking about, but there is stuff hidden below the surface. <gasps> ah! We got to talk about it, Andrew, because this is happening in South Korea at the craziest rate. It's happening all around East Asia. And in fact, it's probably going to happen in America and Europe as well. Ooh. So we got to talk about one of the reasons. I guess we want to talk about our own theories. Some of the reasons that might people that might not think about and then see what the comments say. So. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys. Uh, here's the boring part, Andrew. Stagnant wages, cost of housing, gender equality, lack of support network, and work-life balance. Those are some of the boring reasons that I guess everybody is aware of if you study kind of like basic economics, right? Yeah, I mean, you got to let... I mean, dude, if people want to live in the city, you got to make it easier for people to raise uh, families and live in the city, right? right? But here's the part that is probably the least boring. I'm sorry, I, I think I overstated, Andrew. Gender equality. Oh. Because there is a 4B movement in South Korea. Um, I'll pop that up right here. And basically, that is women rebelling against what they viewed as centuries or perhaps thousands of years of hyper-patriarchal culture. Yeah, and it's a pretty big feminist movement, but I would say there's not any equal movement that we know about in Japan or China, for example, which the birth rates are still going down, but I guess Korea has the most extreme case. Right. So I guess in every country, they're sort of viewing their pie slices, the reasons as slightly different distribution. Mm -hmm. However, the outcomes are essentially the same. However, in South Korea, the reason we're talking about it, Andrew, is because it seems like this trend is the most accelerated. Right, right, So right. the trend is global amongst first world countries, but in South Korea, seems the strongest. Mm, anyway, so why does South Korea have the strongest case of this? Why are they suffering the most of this negative birth rate, David? What I just I listed off the Chad GPT reasons, right? But here's the truth, Andrew. I don't think it is viewed in the younger generation, whether that's uh, young millennials, Gen Z, or even millennials at all, that it's cool to have kids anymore. So you're saying Koreans care that much about being cool that they're not having kids because it's uncool to have children. Yes, and first of all, let's just look at the facts here. Is it uncool to have children? Uh, y y unfortunately, it is viewed that way, yes. Even in the West. Because it makes your life uncool, right? Because you have to dedicate your life that you were dedicating to having dopamine, short-term, the fleeting things, experiences, uh, go traveling around. You can't necessarily just try, unless you're one of those weird families, you know, that travels with the kid around the globe. I, I could just see that being super complicated. Because when you have a kid, you have to stay in one place and build systems to develop that child. Well, typically, yeah, you got to move out to the burbs. Then you got to go get a minivan for your kids, especially if you have multiple kids. Obvious, yes, I get it, yes. Obviously, it's a noble cause, it's good, it's a duty, but no, it's not considered cool. You don't get cooler when you become a so parent. So you're saying like all the clout points that came from me looking good and being cool and doing all these things, now it just has to depend like on how cute my kid is? Wait, so because, David, your theory is this, that Koreans got so cool in the past 15 so years. So quick, they got so cool so quick. They like got their, their coolness curve was the most steep. Right, like, and they got exponentially cool to the point where they're like, listen, we just got cool. Like, if I have a kid, like, I'm not going to be cool anymore. So we still want to drink soju, go out, party, you know, look good, be fashionable, be acting, like, yeah, like entertainment. I've never seen, like, K-pop star that was a mom. There's no MILF K-pop star. I don't even think Hiori has kids, or maybe she just had one at, like... Well, she's, like, out of the line. I think, she, like, I, I, think I want to say she just had one maybe at, like, 39 Dang, or something. maybe they need to normalize, like, a Beyonce-type character. And, and here's the truth. Andrew, there are some cool parents, but it's, like, super hard. As cool as it... Hard as it was to be a cool single person, Andrew, it might be five times as hard to be a cool parent because it, it, it costs that much more, and your kid got to be cool. You can't even help that sometimes. That's just, like, the luck of the draw. Dang. So that's my theory. That's my theory that ChatGPT or all these articles that are written by government agencies, consulting agencies, news agencies will never say, right? Because that's a cultural sort of like thing that's difficult for the, the news to speak on. Wow. Let me know what you think about David's theory. I 
I by the way, I'm not the only guy who said it because there right. was a famous Korean uh, like mathematician or at least uh, like elementary uh, like arithmetic guy, academic guy who said it. But here was the th- reason he got in trouble, Andrew. He blamed it on women trying to be cool exclusively. Right. Okay. That's what he said. Now here's my theory, and it's not like runs. It doesn't run opposite to what you're saying, but I think there's like another side to it where I think that. Korea is not a big place, right? But it produces a ton of entertainment, music, movies, shows, food, content. Both internally, but mostly primarily externally exported. Like, I would imagine that South Korea is one big content machine right now. So the more content you're making means that you're employing and there's more content creators, whether they're actors or movie actors or show writers or influencers or whatever it is on social media. I'm just saying... Like, the, like so many people in that country are partaking in that job. In the entertainment and media industry. Yes. That the entertainment and media industry lifestyle just runs opposite to having a family. So the more people that are involved in entertainment, the less marriages and families there will be. Now, right. you can relate this to being cool because obviously media helps uh, Koreans seem cool. But I guess... I guess I'm being more specific in the sense that what makes them cool is the media and everybody being involved in media actually runs opposite to the lifestyle it takes to raise a kid. Right. And a lot of cities, by the way, uh, or a lot of countries, Andrew, they have like a several streets in cities that are kind of the cool entertainment districts. But I believe, uh, having been to Seoul myself, that cool entertainment district just makes up a larger portion of Korea. Yeah, and, and what like, I'm It's s- like every city, every country got a couple streets that are lit, but it's like makes up a way bigger distribution. So either my theory is wrong because I only just see all the content coming out from Korea. So I'm overrating how much content they're producing. Or if you go to Korea right now, like there's gotta be someone filming all the time, something, whether it's on their phone or their TV shows being filmed. There's not that many people in South Korea. And they have like, if you see some of those shows on Netflix, they're employing like hundreds of people even as extras and they have all these reality shows like think about how many people are involved in entertainment it's probably the i have no stats on this it's probably the highest distribution ratio of a general population involved in entertainment of any place on earth yeah it's it it almost reminds me of like the percentage that it is in la alone like just people Mm. who live in la who are involved in the entertainment industry it's got to be at least like 20 percent of the population or 15 percent it's a tremendous distribution yeah and just like think about anyways that's our theories, guys. You let us know in the comments down below that you think David said that Koreans are too cool and having kids is uncool. I'm saying it's mostly because everybody's involved in entertainment. and The entertainment enter- lifestyle, you meet a lot of people, dudes, or even women. Michelle Yeoh never had a kid, for example. You know, yes. like you see me dudes yes. that never have kids until they're guys, like 16. Guys, what? Are you going to be in entertainment and move out to the burbs and have four kids? Um, Anyways. Other people were talking about how marriage... Uh, like it's treated just way more serious in the East. So but, it's like, because everybody like thinks about everybody's salary. There's so much like transactional aspects that are driven by old school Confucianism, uh, class, socioeconomic class matching. So basically, of course, that's going to drive marriage rates low if everybody's doing running all these extra equations and algos on top of their marriage calculations. Mm, you mean there's just too much pressure and too many metrics that a lot of people are just bowing out of the game. They're just like, yeah. hey, you know what? Like, uh, maybe Korean women are like, oh, a lot of these men don't meet my expectation. And or, a lot or, of men or, are or like, the reverse vice way versa. Too. Yeah, a lot of men are feeling like the Korean women don't want to do the things that women are supposed to be doing. They're saying there's so much ancient culture that used to put the w- women's like leftover age at 25. Now it's 30. But if a woman is unmarried at 30, she figures, oh, I guess I would just be like living a single fun auntie life forever because I am already 30. It is already over for me anyway. Yo, to be left over at the age 25, that's crazy. In Japan, Andrew, they call them Christmas cakes because nobody wants Christmas cakes after Christmas. Well, obviously, in, in, in Mandarin, it's called sheng, sheng nu, which is, uh, means leftover, like sheng tai. Um, anyway, somebody said, more, no, 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 it's way more economics. It's the 4B movement. Some men are blaming the women. Women are blaming the men. People are blaming corporatization. People are blaming the government for not stopping corporatization. Everybody, Andrew, is pointing a finger at everybody. Yeah, but I think you really got to look at the factors that makes Korea different than Japan and China. Obviously, it's very different than China. Obviously, it's more similar to Japan. It's more similar to Japan, but it's also way smaller than Japan, too. So that's why I think 
South Korea is an interesting use case. So I think I'd almost have to look at Singapore, which is a fraction of the size of Korea, which is like, I don't know, 7 million. I don't forgot how many people are in Singapore, but it's like really not a lot. So I guess you'd have to look at Singapore and if people are not having kids in Singapore and compare that to Korea because there's only like 40 million people in Korea. Right, but I think Singapore is in a very different situation because Singapore is in a weird way, Andrew, a little bit like the America of Southeast Asia mm. but with a lot of Chinese people where, you know, a lot of, you could be Singaporean and be like, nobody is necessarily Singaporean racially. Right, Everybody right, right. is from somewhere else and became Singaporean. True, so true, it's true. different. It's a little bit of an immigrant place. Um, some people are saying, man, all of East Asia is the same way, Japan specifically. And then, you know, I got into some arguing between Filipinos and Japanese because someone said that's because most Japanese men are five foot six with small D's. And then everybody said, what are you talking hate. about, man? They hating. <laughs> uh, hey, man. I won't stand for hey, the slander. Where, 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 big D's, medium D's, or little D's, Andrew, D's trends didn't change until recently and they're probably uh, yeah 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 um somebody said they need to start expediting visas to all the latin countries and then they'll see that baby boom all right so david a, a latin person wrote this by the way no so. no this is a funny solution but it's not really that funny because it's just from their perspective like they were saying that obviously the stereotype is that Latinos know how to make babies and they're whatever Latino women are fertile. That's the but, stereotype. But there's also some, obviously if I just pop up the stats right here, you'll see in Latin Yeah, they like that, Latinos that like to have babies. So whether they're more fertile or not genetically, we don't, I have no idea, but they, they like to have more kids. So if you are, if Korea is willing to take on some Latino immigrants who are, you know, whatever, want to work there and learn and be Korean, then they can help. You talking about reproduce. Korea booze. Yeah, Latino Korea booze, men and women can go to Korea and then start families. And uh, I'm sure the Latino Korea booze would love that idea. Right. And I think there's a lot of reasons why people want to have a lot of kids. I think a lot of it is due to religion. I think it's values. I think it's valuing a family time over materialism and not necessarily being caught up in like, oh my gosh, my kid has to go like to the Harvard of elementary and the Harvard of middle school to be yeah. like valued by people. I don't know. It's just different. Every culture is different, right? Anyway, Andrew, let's get into the boring solutions. Increase financial incentives for having children. Improve work-life balance. Change cultural attitudes. Expand access to affordable housing and address the aging population. Of course, a lot of people are pointing at robots and AI to potentially do some matching. Japan's already doing that matching personalities. People who want to have kids with other kids. You're from these sides of the countries guess what the government's gonna put you together through ai i'll say this what if people just stop thinking that being cool is the only thing that matters people have to think that continuing the human population or at least the human population of their group or whatever however they want to define those with whatever boundaries is cool well you have to find some duty and uh meaning in it like you have to find meaning in being a parent to have a kid and really care about that kid Right. So how and you can't do you, only care if the kid is cool too, right? You can't only care if your kid is going to be like the coolest kid, whether it's like Ryan's Toys Reviews or one of those like, you know, really stylish kids. That yeah, like I think do, I think I think it is true. If you think about it, if you're a person who can zoom out and think about the future of the world, there has to be kids. And a lot of them still have to come from families who are smart, educated, the, all these families who live in the city and people who have degrees or just whatever, people who are work hard, right? They have to have kids. And so you have to find some duty in that. Yeah. But how do you build in that duty? I, I think AI is not just going to be on a dating app matching up people better. I think literally they're just going to start paying women to have in vitro fertilization and then like they just raise a kid and then they got all the robots Yo! and like older so people to help saying care. that the male person the male figure in the household would be a male masculine robot potentially guys this is the future that we live in so if we don't want this future we gotta start having babies or is it gonna just be like the matrix where we're all like born and hatched in these little pods Hey, man, let us know what you think in the comments section below. I think it has to do with how cool people want to be. I, I think that that's the primary unspoken pie slice. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.